What's going on good people of YouTube? Blue Light Bandit here and today I've got a video in reference to my Canon Armory Safe and basically telling you my thoughts about it. I've been getting a lot of questions on my other video in reference to what I think about it. If I had any more problems out of it, would I recommend buying one? Uh, so I thought I'd just make a video instead of continue to answer questions. Uh, the video I made previously, I had a lock to go bad and I showed how to install uh, a new lock. Please don't ask me how I got into it. Uh, I, you know, I'm not going to get into that. Uh, I've got a, my good friend is an electrical engineer and he helped me get into it and I'll just leave it at that. But uh, I was, uh, it malfunctioned and I wasn't able to, uh, to use it. So this, this was the old lock. It was a secure ram. And supposedly they had a lot of problems out of this. And the new one I got is in L. And I haven't had any problems with this as of yet. Okay. Now what you're looking at now is the inside of the safe. Uh, the door panel has been removed. The reason the door panel has been removed is because my LED lights have quit working. And you can see right here is what one of them looks like. This is the inside of the door. And there's four, actually four of them in there. And it's kind of hard to get a picture, but that's what they look like. There's four of these and none of them work. I took these connectors off, cleaned them with detox and still doesn't work. I've got a media outlet in the bottom of the safe and uh, I'm getting power to it. So it's obvious it's the bulbs uh, or there's one LED burnout because I believe if one goes, they all quit working. Uh, while I had this off, I went ahead and slapped a little grease on my bolts, just some preventative maintenance and to uh, keep everything working smoothly. Word of caution, if you do this, be very careful because these uh, metal plates right here are very sharp. That'll lay you open in, in a heartbeat. So anyway, uh, customer service, I just got off the phone with them. They are uh, working from home because of this this uh, COVID deal, but they're going to take care of me. Uh, I've got one other issue right here. And obviously that uh, it's almost like it's rusting through the paint and you know, the only, that was that was on Canon, you know, when they painted this thing. Apparently there was some rust spots they didn't take care of before they sprayed it. So it sounds like, uh, from what I was talking or speaking with Susie at customer service, that they're, she's going to have to clear up their supervisor first, but they're going to get me a new safe, which really surprised me. Uh, I wasn't expecting that. But she said it's probably going to be a while because of this virus and there's nobody working in the warehouse, yada, yada, yada. I said that was fine. So uh, A-plus customer service on Canon, they have taken care of me every time I've called. And if something changes and I'm not satisfied with uh, you know, the results, then I'll make a part two about this. In case you were wondering how thick the this panel is that's a good uh, 38 inch thick it feels like plywood I'm sure some kind of OSB or something but this I don't know exactly how old I've had this thing for a pretty good while and you can see this canvas type material uh, on the cover for the uh, panel is getting some wear on it there's actually a hole so taking this door on and off is, is eventually this is going to tear and I'll have to replace it. But I'm just noting it because this is a review of the safe itself. But keep in mind, this is, I don't know, golly, nine years old, if not older, maybe 10. So it's held up pretty good. In case you was wondering what the inside panel looks like, uh give you a picture here there's a lot of compartments as you can tell this is the top row um you can hold magazines or whatever you've got these door pockets that are very spacious got velcro on there and i'll go ahead and be honest about this need a little light because my lights don't work but these pockets 
the elastic in them. Sorry about this. Uh, it loses its elasticity. Did I say that right? It loses its strength over time. They still, as you can tell, they still hold uh, everything nice, but they will, uh, it does get a little loose. Like this one, I've got a light mounted on it, and if I was to put a different firearm in that, it would uh, be kind of loose. It'd still hold it, but it's, it'd just be a little loose. So there's plenty of storage, like I said, in the door panel. And you've actually got, uh, you've got a long uh, rifle, long arm there on the uh, door. It attaches up here with Velcro and it fits in a little pocket down there. So, uh, yeah. I showed you my door panel. I guess I could show you the inside of it. There's plenty of space in here, as you can tell. Uh, I don't want to show you the bottom, but it, it holds 48 guns. Well, it says 48 guns, but uh, if you got any type of optics or anything like that, of course, that's going to drop that down dramatically. But there's plenty of room in here to place your val valuables. You know, as you can see, I've got my most prized possessions in here. So uh, there's plenty of space. And as far as uh, this right here, you put a lot of weight on it. Over time, it's going to start sagging a little bit. I put some, uh, cut some oak strips and put it up underneath there to to keep everything in check. Uh, it bothers me that I, my lights are not working. But, you know, and all in all, uh, as long as I've had this, I've had more problems than I would want to have out of a, uh, a safe. You know, I've had the lot to go out, and that is bad. You know, that's a... Uh, I got kind of lucky on my deal, but I've people's left comments and told me stories about their experience, and it doesn't sound like any fun. Uh, my lights have went out, and I've got that rust issue. But like I said, every time I've you know called with a complaint, they have uh, customer service has been on point. So, would I recommend this safe? Absolutely. Uh, you've got to you know weigh everything out uh as far as how much you can afford to how much i I'll get the biggest you can afford don't buy a small safe and say well that's all i need because you'll outgrow it quick trust me i've already done this this is not my first safe only safe i've got other ones and but i started out with a smaller one which i might have a picture of So yeah, do I recommend this safe? Absolutely. If I could give any advice on as far as uh, if you was going to get something like this, I would get, if I could go back and redo it, I would get something that wasn't solely relying on an electronic lock. I would get one that had a dual system where you had a key backup or a combination backup. One or the other, just as long as you weren't solely relying on a digital keypad. The digital keypad is really nice. You can get into it really quick. Uh, it's very convenient, but they can fail, and they have several times. Uh, I'm living proof. And go to the comment section on that video, and you'll see a lot of other people that's uh, had the issue too. And that would suck. I mean, it does suck. You can't get into your safe. So definitely, uh, if you can, get one with a key backup that overrides or a combination dial that overrides the digital in case it did go bad. Uh, another piece of advice, I would stay away from the really cheap safes uh, that are real, just really cheap. The metal on them, are, the steel is really thin, and the locks, the bolt, everything is just really cheap, and it's they're easy to get into. Any safe can be gotten into, but those really cheap ones are really easy. Where this one, somebody's going to have to work at it. Yeah, the lock picking lawyer could probably get into it, you know, in just a few minutes, second, whatever, but uh, not many people can. I was in law enforcement for over a decade, over 12 years, and I didn't go to, I didn't, I did not have not one safe cracking case. 
Now, you, I think there's a, there's a couple uh, other officers had, but me personally, I never had one. One house break in, they did get in the safe, but it was a family member that got into it. He knew the combination. They didn't actually break into it. Most of your house break ins, at least in the majority of the areas, I know there's it varies, but are crackheads that uh, are smash and grab. They're going to break in your house and grab everything they can, ransack your house, getting the easiest stuff. They're not going to take the time to try to get into something, you know, like this. Uh, so take that for what it's worth. I've got a little experience in that field, so I'm not worried about it. And when I leave home, I don't worry about anything. Uh, so I'll leave it at that. So anyway, um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I'm leaving out. Uh, please, if you got any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Uh, and like I said, if there's uh, if I have any problems with customer service on this, I'll make a part two. But anyway, I hope y'all have a great day, and I'll talk to you later. We'll see you.